All right, so it's 2.44 p.m. A.M. Yeah, I'm tired. I can't really sleep. So uh, here's a story about uh, me when I was 18 years old back in 2008. This was back whenever I was a private investigator. My dad used to have a private investigations company called Rose Investigations. And I thought, well, if my dad did it, why can't I? So I'm going to tell you a story about one of those uh, surveillances. Back in 2008, I was uh, doing a surveillance for this woman. She, uh, she was convinced that her boyfriend was sleeping around. I don't know how she could tell. I guess women just know how, to, how that happens. People just know. So, she's like, okay, he's going to be in this hotel. So I'm like, okay. So I found out which room he's in. I know he's in there with someone. Who's going to be in a hotel? Unless you're in there with somebody. Something's going on. So, I'm thinking, okay, I got to get in this room. I got to get this on video. How am I going to do this? So, I got some scrubs. I had, had like, you know, outfits and costumes and stuff in my trunk. So I put on some scrubs. I acted like I was a nurse. I got the whole persona. Whew, I was ready. So here I am, a nurse, in the hallway of this hotel. And I'm calling out to my toddler, my, uh, my four-year-old. And I'm saying, you know, whatever a kid's name is. I don't have a kid. And I, but I said it so that he would know. He would know that there's someone in the hallway looking for his kid. So anyway, I knock on his room door. I knock on his door. And I said, listen, man, uh, my, my, my son, he, he's, he's missing. I need to look in your room and look around, make sure that, you know, you don't have him or he's not in here. I'm just doing whatever. And the guy, of course, he's like, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Look in here real quick. So I, uh, I look in the room, I look in the closet, and I have, my, I have this watch with uh, a spy camera inside of it. I like press like one of the buttons and the camera turns on. So, lo and behold, someone's in there. Someone's in the bed. But it's not a woman. It's a man. There's a man in that bed. <laughs> so this military guy is having sex with another military guy. And this guy's you know by in the sheets in the bed and he's just kind of looking at me like who's this guy? So I got what I needed, and I left. I'm t I said, all right, thank you. Just looking for my kid. So I left. I went back to my car, and I called the woman up. And I said, listen, I need to show you. I need to show you this video. So before disclosing anything else to her on the phone, I met her. And I said, it's not a woman. It's a man. And I was expecting another reaction out of her. I was expecting her to say, <clears throat> you know, some obscenities and start you know, yelling and stuff. But she was laughing. She couldn't stop laughing. She was hysterical. But it, was, it wasn't like sad laughing or, you know, pissed off laughing. It was like, <laughs> that guy's fucked. Can he, I'll never talk to him again. He's fucked. It was, it was basically that kind of vibe. But... <clears throat> That was the weirdest, that was the weirdest, uh, that was the weirdest thing I, uh, I experienced doing that. Just the vibe in the, in that room was just so gay. That was some gay shit, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm going back to bed.